Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to type something in. Well, I may just not do it this time. There we go. Well, I can't do what I wanted to do. Anyway, I'll sit and wait for a few minutes for people to join. Um, and when you join, you say hi. And if you're if you're watching a replay, um, do like hashtag replay or replay. And um, so I know that you watched it. And this one I'm pretty nervous about because I'm really opening myself up. Um, because it's this it's just lightly touching on lime life. It's more about where I am. Good night, y'all. Where I am um, in life, how I got here in life, starting way back from when I was young, and that story. So y'all say hi, wave, whatever. And we'll start in like another minute or so. And I'm crazy because I'm scared that I'm going to get scatterbrained. So, I have, like, all my notes. Hi, Mom. To just kind of stay on point because I'm going to babble on and whatnot. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, and I am wearing all my fun makeup that and skincare that I got in my starter kit. I've been playing with that. So, um, hey, Brooke. Hey, Carolyn. I guess we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start because I'm antsy. Um, so as most people, well, if you're watching, you may know I'm Rachel. Um, I own co-owned a business for ten years, and I had a baby a little over five months ago, and I decided that I wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I did not want to leave them behind every day. I couldn't wrap my head around it. So with that kind of leads us to this, um, back to who I am and where I've, how I've gotten where I am, I guess. Um, so just to be blunt and honest, my entire life I had, um, depression and anxiety disorders and they got very heavy and difficult in my preteens. Um, so I was put on medication and two years after that, when I was 14 years old, I was diagnosed with epilepsy. If you don't know what epilepsy is, it's chronic seizures. And that was due to the antidepressant I was taking. And a 14-year-old should not have been on it. Um, and they now know these things. But at the time, I should not have been on that medication. Um, I was told that it wasn't the medication's fault. So, they kept me on it. And my brain learned that these electrical currents that were causing the seizures is what was normal for it. And so, 20 years later, I still have this um, illness. So, it really, it affected me my entire life. Um, after, or in the middle of my sophomore, sophomore year of high school, I had to leave because I just kept having um, seizures all the time in class. So, I had to leave high school. Um, got well enough to get my GED. Started college. In college, my cluster seizures started to happen and cluster seizures are um, multiple seizures in one occurrence. So I was having it like five to 10 to 20 a day and life wasn't, I couldn't do anything. And I was going to college for theater. I wanted to choreograph and be on stage and do all that fun stuff. And I had been, want, I wanted to do that forever. And with this, diagnosis and illness, it came to be that my life wasn't going to be what I thought it was going to be, which is fine. I'm totally happy with where I'm at now, but it was pretty crushing and I had a very hard sense of loss and I didn't know where I was in life. I didn't know where I was going in life. So, when I had to leave college, I started working for um, one of my parents' businesses and it was like, okay, I can do this. Um, I can learn all the ropes and eventually run it few years doing that, I knew this is not where I want to be. I'm not happy here. I cannot do this. So, I was lost again and stuck. And then when I was 23, an opportunity 
came up for um, my sister-in-law and I to open up our own business, the um, Mary Magnolia. And it was, I think, more successful than anybody thought. I, I never had a doubt in my mind just because I can't, you know, with business and things like that. I'm very negative, but if it involves somebody else, I'm not going to be negative because I'm going to be the one to raise it up and talk and march on. So anyway, that's all going on. I'm still having seizures, but I am making my life work. Uh, about a year and a half, two years after opening the shop, met Sheldon. And like I said, I have my notes that I'm going through because it's just key points. And I'm trying to be fast with this, to be honest. Um, but so I met Sheldon and I knew that that was it. Like I was good with where I was with him. I knew he was the one. And I was okay with where I was business-wise, but again, it, it, I still felt lost. Um, I loved the shop. I loved being there. I loved helping my customers. Um, I loved staff. It was just, I still felt like this is not what God put me on the earth for. So, Sheldon and I get married. A few years down the line, we have Nolan. And that was this past March. Um, and while I was pregnant, my health skyrocketed and was seizure free. Um, he got me healthy and my brain was really clear when you're on certain, any medication, certain medications, but anti-seizure meds can really make you foggy and not, you know, you're not yourself. So I was put on a good um, medication cocktail and I was healthy and I had not been seizure free in over 10 years. And I'm almost going to hit my year mark of being seizure free um, coming up at the end of the month. So yay for that. So I had no one and not even a week within postpartum hit me very, very hard. And I, I, I had postpartum depression. Um, also postpartum anxiety, but more the depression. So, uh, again, it, questioning where I was going in life, what I was doing, and it just kind of hit me that this is what I was put on the earth for, was to be Nolan's mother. And I wanted to give him all the time in the world that I could, so I did. I um, decided to sell my share of my business, which was very difficult because it's been a decade. We just celebrated it being 10 years old, so that was hard. But... I knew it was the right thing to do, and as soon as I said it out loud, it was just like weights lifted off. Um, and I didn't feel lost anymore. I felt like this is my goal in life. This is what I'm supposed to do. That being said, I didn't want to have baby brain all the time. And, um, sorry, Br Riggs just said that's Aunt Fancy. She's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wrigley loves to call Nolan baby Nolan. It's the cutest thing. Um, and if y'all can hear Stella barking, I'm sorry. So anyway, but I knew that I had to have something to stimulate my mind, to challenge me, make me set goals and not baby milestones because that's going to happen. But I, have to, I had to have something to make me think. Um, Uh-oh, no one's crying. Um... So, I had been thinking about joining Lime Life for uh, like a year, off and on. Just, you know, if I had the time to do this, I would do it. I would enjoy it. And it's not even because of the money. It's because I saw this sisterhood and everyone cheering each other on, um, experiences. And I have, I wanted that. And I'd been using the products. Sorry, Samantha. Why what? Um, I wanted to use the pro I, I had been using the products for years and I loved it. Um, <laughs> when I was pregnant and people would comment on my pregnancy glow, I would be like, Oh no, it's limelight. It's my makeup. Like, this isn't pregnancy glow. <laughs> That's how much I think that it impacted how I looked. Um, and everybody was like, no, no. And I'm like, no, it, it's, it's this amazing makeup. I promise. And you too can have it. So, I just, I reached out to Kelly and, um, who's my mentor and just was like, I'm doing this, let's do it. So, that's why I joined. Um, again, this was like pushed up like that because I'm nervous to talk about it and it's, it's all serious subject with 
mental health, um, my epilepsy and all that, but I can't let, let it push me down. And I did in my late teens and early twenties, it permitted me from doing anything and everything I wanted. And I'm so blessed and happy where I am in life now, but, um, that's not where I thought it would be. And that's totally fine. Like 99% of people say, this isn't where I thought I'd be. It, it happens. Um, but I'm so excited about this journey with Lum Like by Alcone because it's going to be amazing, I think. Um, I feel like I blabbed on. Sorry. I really wanted to make this short because I was so nervous about it. Um, and I keep saying um, and I hate saying um. I, public speaking, it that, that annoys me, so I shouldn't be saying that. So... Uh, with that being said, if there are any, anybody has questions about epilepsy, anybody has questions about mental health, and, or if you have questions about on life, hit me up. Um, I'm an open book now. I will talk about anything apart from politics because that makes people ugly. So... <laughs> But just if y'all have any questions about anything, anything I've talked about, if you want somebody to talk to about anything, I'm here. I'm an open book. And y'all let me know. Um, hey, Hannah. So, that's it. It's This is really short and sweet. Ex especially from um, the video I did last week with the box, which was so much fun. And after I finished it, I was like, I'm ready for another one. Uh, but... That being said, if y'all have ideas about what I could do next for a video, I was thinking about doing a makeover, having someone give me a makeover with my makeup, um, doing a tutorial about how to put the base on, any of that. And I've got some matte powders or the uh, high def powders coming soon, and I'm so excited to play with that. So, yeah, that's my story why I'm here. Short and sweet. Uh, I could have gotten into more stuff, but eh, if you're curious, message me. So, and again, if, uh, it's a rewatch, I'll just say rewatch because I want to see who sees this and just see if I affected anybody. So y'all have a good night. Thanks.